Why do dogs sniff butts? Have you ever felt awkward as your dog probed the buttocks of every other dog it met? To humans, it may appear impolite, but to dogs, it is the official handshake taken to an entirely new level of efficiency. Humans assess one another using more subtle cues. We pay attention to handshakes, facial expressions, body language, small talk, and instincts. Dogs, on the other hand, have a faster and more efficient way of learning about new people. They sniff each other's buttocks. Dogs can judge another dog's buttocks better than we humans can after hours of conversation. However, it still appears awkward, and only a few of us understand why. Let us investigate. Let's take a look at the amazing canine nose to better understand the sniffing action. The nose of a dog is its first introduction to the world. Dogs can smell 10,000 to 300,000 times better than humans, depending on the breed. This is due to the fact that humans have 5 million olfactory receptors, while dogs have 300 million. A dog, for example, can detect a drop of blood in an area as large as an Olympic-sized swimming pool. Imagine walking into a friend's house and smelling something delicious cooking in the oven. We can smell the food. Our dog, on the other hand, can tell the difference between the cheese, flour, tomato, garlic, basil, meats, and whatever was on the pan before the pizza. The nose of a dog is actually two chambers connected to the nasal cavity. When dogs inhale through their nostrils, scent particles or molecules become trapped within the cavity by mucus. They pass through the turbinate and are then transmitted to the brain of the dog for processing. This chamber is used for scent molecules containing environmental information. Aside from the nostrils, a dog's nasal cavity contains another chamber for deciphering scent codes. The Jacobson organ can be found on the roof of the mouth. It detects pheromones that have an impact on social behavior. When you watch a dog sniffing, you can see Jacobson's organ in action due to the slack jaw and mouth breathing. Scent processing takes up 40 times more of a dog's brain than it does in humans. Some people believe that dogs can sense the passage of time with their noses. A study found that dogs can tell when it is time for his or her pet parents to return home supported the smells or movement of odors within the house. The longer the pet parent is away, the less the odor or smell is present, indicating that it is time for them to return home. It's fascinating, but it doesn't explain why your dog prefers to sniff another dog's buttocks. Why the butt? Dogs perceive the world through their noses and can detect even minor changes in the air. As a result, they have more efficient ways of gathering information than humans. When we take our dogs for a walk, they have to sniff everything to figure out what's going on around them. We converse with others, observe body language, and scan our surroundings. With intricate details, a dog can sniff out information much faster. When meeting another dog, the butt is the window to vital information that determines whether the new dog is a friend or a foe. The anal glands are the key to understanding this information. The dog buttocks contain two small sacs known as anal glands. They contain powerful chemical secretions of pheromones and scent molecules that provide other dogs with a wealth of information about your dog. And, yes, they do stink. However, your dog's powerful sniffing ability allows it to collect information about another dog by sniffing these sacs. And, interestingly, we believe there is a strong poop odor back there, but your dog completely ignores it and focuses solely on the gland secretions. A few well-placed sniffs reveal gender, reproductive status, health status, diet and emotional state. If the scent is on the ground, your dog can tell if it's a friend they've met before, or if that dog is nearby. It's a biography written entirely in scent molecules and pheromones, and it's an excellent example of chemical communication in the animal kingdom. Some facts about sniffs. It may be unsettling to see your dog eagerly greet another dog by shoving its nose up the other dog's buttocks, but it is a natural instinct for dogs, and is perfectly normal. They've taken the concept of making new friends to new heights. Dogs sniff for a variety of reasons, not just to get the lowdown on a new friend. For some, it's a chance to unwind. Smelling around is a fun and stimulating way to discover new odors in your dog's environment. There is also a lot of information to sort out. Who was there, how were they feeling, was it a human, a dog, a cat, or a rodent? There are so many things your dog enjoys exploring. Allowing your dog many time to smell around or inspect the buttocks of that cute new dog is a crucial part of dog behavior. Many dogs will be less likely to become aggressive if they are allowed to sniff a few times. Some dogs can be overly cautious when meeting a new friend, so keep an eye on their body language. That new friend may require more personal space than your dog is willing to provide. Teaching your dog to sit and stay can come in handy when socializing, just in case a good sniff greeting is not appreciated. If you can calm or distract your dog's exploratory behavior, you can avoid conflicts. According to one study, male dogs do more butt sniffing in public places than female dogs. And because dogs remember scents, they will quickly recognize their own humans or another human or dog they have met before. Why isn't my dog a sniffer? There could be a few reasons why your dog isn't interested in sniffing dog derriers. 
Some dogs prefer people to other dogs and are unwilling to socialize. Some people may have a diminished sense of smell as a result of age or illness, or they may have experienced a previous trauma that caused fear or anxiety. Speaking with your veterinarian about your dog will help to narrow down the possibilities and ensure that nothing is wrong with your canine's health. As you can see, dogs outperform humans when it comes to making new friends. Sniffing butts is the most efficient and consistent way for them to progress from who are you to let's play. So, the next time you feel awkward because your dog sniffs another dog's behind, remember that your dog is a social butterfly who is always making new friends.